Praise God, man. Hallelujah. Finally back. You know, I know some of you were probably asking, you are wondering, like, you know, why, where was I, you know, why was I taking so long and all that, but to make another video, but I were to be honest with you guys for a second, you know, like, I just really wanted to hear from the Lord and hear if this is what he wanted me to do, because with the channel that, you know, God's put in my heart to make for him, like, this is, I never really decided, I never really wanted to make this a, a teaching channel where I teach and instruct, you know what I'm saying, and teach the word of God. Because in the word it says, don't all rush to be preachers and teachers. Don't, we, don't you know that we all will have more severe judgment, you know? It's like, so, you know, even after my first video, you know, a close brother of mine was just giving me, you know, a good chastisement. And I really, I wanted a good chastisement, I would say, you know, he was just like, yo, you know, brother, like, are you sure you led and everything? And he was speaking good things from a pure heart, you know? And um, for a while I heard it and I was like, and I still hear it to this day. And I was just like, honestly, like, you know, he was just saying like, basically what I just told y'all, you know, it's like, be very careful when it comes to the word of God. And I'm so thankful to call him. He's not like my biological big brother, but he's like a big brother to me. You know what I'm saying? And, but he was just saying like, yo, like Jamar, are you sure that this is something that the Lord has called you to do teaching? And for a while I was kind of discouraged because I'm like, dang, you know, like maybe the Lord doesn't want me to make chat videos, you know, because all that all I, all I wanted to do and felt really felt led to do was make inspirational messages, you know, with some scripture, not really teaching, but letting the spirit of the Lord speak through me, you know, because it's his word. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I struggle so long with the calling that God placed on me. I'm just like, yo, I don't want the more severe and strict, you know, judgment that it comes with. But, you know, praise God. You know what I'm saying? I, I love that brother to death, you know, and um, we had our moments. But, you know, even with this video, I was just seeking the Lord and I was just like, you know, Lord, if this is your will, like, please reveal it, confirm it. You know, I even let it go for like about a week. And then, you know, I had the same desire you know, that I had before came back and I was just like, all right, Lord, if this is you confirm, send some confirmations and all that, you know, made sure it was of the Lord. And you know, like, all right, you know, it's good to go. But anyways, you know, the reason why I was so, I was gone for so long as well, not just apart from that was because, you know what I'm saying? Shortly after the video was uploaded, uploaded within a couple of weeks, I got a, got a job at a place, at a patio place. and. You know, very quickly, I got so busy, and I don't want to make this as an excuse, but I got so busy with the things of this world, and you know what I'm saying, just make, you know, every time I come home, I'm just so tired, I don't even feel like reading my Bible or reading the Word, and I'm like, how could I come on here and speak with the Holy Spirit leading me and tell you guys things that I'm not even doing myself? The Spirit of the Lord telling my own self to do, and I'm not, I'm not even doing it myself, but you guys, because the Holy Spirit's the teacher is not me. You may see me, but it's the Holy Spirit that's teaching. So honestly, I just was like, I don't want to be a hypocrite. So that was another reason why I was gone so long as well. But praise God, I just really wanted to confess that and say that before I proceed forward with the, you know, the message today. And um, as y'all can see, the title of this video, you know, God's really been speaking to me about this. And like I said, when I had this desire to make this channel, this was something that I wanted to speak on things that most people don't really talk about. You know what I'm saying? Like, like even even in the channel, even in the bio, it says seeking a, a heart after God, if I'm not mistaken. And it's just like, yo, like that's the whole message of this whole channel. And you know what I'm saying? Like, God was just like, he was like birthing this word in me for a very long time. You know what I'm saying? Like. And to put it straight, like, God wants a relationship with each and every one of you guys watching, whether it's like five people, 10 people, five people is a lot of souls and 10 people is even more souls, praise God. You know, so honestly, like, I just pray, even as I say this, like God pur purify my heart, anything that's not of you, I pray you take it out in Jesus name. But honestly, God wants a relationship with each and every last one of y'all. You know what I'm saying? like. 
and he really desires us. Many, many times, like, when people come to you, so I'm talking to the unsaved people first. They come to you and they talk about the gospel and all that stuff. Like, like be real. Like, you don't, like, many, many of y'all do believe it, but it's just like you don't want to surrender, like, your will and, you know what I'm saying, surrender everything. Surrender your fun that you think you're having in the world and you just don't want to live with the rules and regulations of Christianity and go to church and feel like you feel like your life is going to be boring after like you still want to live your life you'll be like all right yeah I believe but let me just do what I want to do first and maybe when I'm older I'll, I'll give that God thing a chance you know what I'm saying and some people are just like nah let go away from that you know whether you've been church hurt whether you know what I'm saying you had whatever it may be honestly you know what i'm saying like many people just don't want to come to the lord you know what i'm saying and it's just like if people were to see jesus and see him and not an image on a catholic church or whatever of a white jesus and actually see and know the guy through the bible through reading the gospels many more people would come to him and i guarantee that because personally with me and I thank the Holy Spirit because my flesh and all of our flesh hates God. We want nothing to do with him. We don't want to follow his law. We don't want nothing to do with him. We don't want nothing at all to do with him. That's what the Bible says, you know, and it's the Holy Spirit that draws men unto God. How could I take credit for something that the Holy Spirit did? That's like going and doing a group assignment that, you, that you're just chilling in the back with your homies or with, your, with the, all the smart people in the class. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And I take it all credit, you know what I'm saying? After and be like, yeah, this was all me. You'd be a fool if to do that. You know, so this is all the Holy Spirit. And they honestly is just like, yo, like, straight up, like, you know, God really wants, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> God really wants us fully to come to him. You know what I'm saying? Whether we are already saved or we're not saved. You know, just going to like John 14. And starting off in John 14, verse 1. And it says, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I wouldn't have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there you may be also. So I start for that. I start with that, you know, those verses in John 14 for a reason. You know, God himself, like, he has a place for us that he's he's making. And, like, if he if he didn't, he would have told us, told us that. Sorry, I'm so sorry. But God has a place for all of us. And God actually really wants all of us to be there one day. He doesn't just say these things and then it's a lie. Like, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, everything he says is truth. Because he is the way, he is the truth, he is the life. You know what I'm saying? So when the Lord speaks, like he's the answer, you know? Like he is the true answer. And I love, and like honestly, <laughs> I don't want to even get off track of that. Holy Spirit, thank you. But like to be honest, like yo, like straight up, like Jesus Christ, like I've seen, I've seen many people have testimonies, whether heaven visitation, uh, dreams, visions of people actually meeting Jesus, you know, whether they're in their sleep, they have a near death experience, whatever may happen, you know what I'm saying? And they talk about how they met him, and they're like, When I met him, it was just like, like, it was just like, I can't explain. Like, he's just like, Yo, like, he's just so perfect, he's so pure. Like, they would say stuff like that. And if you don't believe me, you can see, you can search in on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, Jesus Christ testimony or I seen Jesus you know what I'm saying and really discern the true ones you know what I'm saying because there, there are fake ones as well out there but anyways you would see that and then you'll see like the whole countenance of their face their whole demeanor just changes like you'll see the toughest guys to be like crying and weeping and they'd they be saying like yo like I met him and like he's like love incarnated like I was just like yo like this guy is like He's, he's not human, like he's God, but like, like he's the God man, like he's God, like 
it's just i can go on and on and it's just like they would see him and they would be like like he's different and he even says in the bible too like i was reading in the word one time and i was reading earlier how um many times there was a time when the pharisees were talking about um jesus and they were saying they were coming back after jesus was speaking and some of the pharisees if i'm not mistaken and lord be my tongue were saying like yo you know yo never has a man spoken like this before and one of the other pharisees said have you are, like are you also deceived like just seeing it it's just like yo even when he was jesus was brought like brought before pilate like you know what i'm saying like i was just like yo like, i see no wrong in him like you know what i'm saying like i see like even brought out a bowl after it's like yo i wash my my blood is not symbolizing with the bowl and the water symbolize yo my blood is not on his hands I'm, I'm my blood like the blood is not on my hands no more like this guy's innocent and pure but you do what y'all want with him you know what i'm saying like he never has a man i see one guy say in a vision like when i saw him it's like he looked like the most purest most most innocent and gentle person but at the same time he looked like yo don't mess with him you know what i'm saying like he really you know what i'm saying like where like, i know i'm rambling and maybe this is really where the spirit wants and i truly believe it is you know there was a time where i was also watching um a brother in the lord i, I believe i pray he went on with the lord i believe he truly did in jesus name and you know and he was talking about and many of y'all as i say this it's gonna you're probably gonna find it hard to believe and i don't blame you you know what i'm saying you do what you will with it but there was a time where he had a vision and it was him and jesus and they're you know they're playing pool and the close guys around me know how much i talk about this to them you know what i'm saying my close guys and uh you know what i'm saying like one time he hit like a gutter ball i don't know what it's called i don't play pool like that not i'm not even good at it myself i probably would hit do the same thing and um he was playing pool with jesus and jesus with his robe you know what i'm saying and he doesn't always come like that in, 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 in visions and dreams from what i've seen sometimes he just comes with normal clothing but anyways he went to go get it you know what i'm saying and as he went to go get it you know when they're at the bar there was like two three other guys and they just started fighting and instantly you know jesus started weeping and started bawling you know what i'm saying and he was just weeping and bawling i believe because of like the sin of man you know what i'm saying and the guy that got the dream was saying maybe he was also weeping and crying because he saw their eternal destiny as well a eternal destination and um stuff like that you know there was a, i'm so sorry guys but there was even another one where like um and i know like many like as i say this like many of you guys may not believe but don't doubt like if you guys like doubt like seek the lord out because these are not my dreams these are you know a brother in the lord's there's a time where you know what i'm saying him and jesus were walking on the streets of gold it was a heaven visitation and you know what i'm saying they were walking together and you know he was the guy was just like yo like you know i really i really you know want to talk to you about this and that and all that and you know jesus you know what i'm saying in the moment you know as if he was not all knowing you know he was just like yo you want to like go to the court or whatever and have like to the court and like the guy was like no nah, like i just want to talk jesus was like it's, it's cool now i say all of this to say jesus is relational like he doesn't want just a like worship me i'm god that's what he wants that's not the only thing he desires you know what i'm saying he wants holiness he wants obedience but he also wants a friendship with each and every last one of us he wants a relationship now i'm not going to tell you and say okay i can have a friendship with him but i can still live in sin i can still party and drink yeah, jesus is my best friend that's my homie that's my bro there's a difference between calling jesus your homie and still drinking and clubbing and doing all these things and calling jesus your friend and you actually obey him let's go to uh verse in john 15 if you guys can go with me right there so in john 15 verse 14 he says ye are my friends if you do whatsoever i command you also in john 15 as well john 15 verse 9 through 10 
As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. If you keep my commandments, you shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. The Father, God Almighty, is longing for a friendship. He's longing for a relationship. He's longing the key to that friendship, the key to that obedience. The key to that friendship, I just said it, is obedience in itself as well. Holiness and purity. God can't dwell with sin. God can't dwell with disobedience. And even if we go to James, I feel led of the Spirit. Praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And we can just fly to James for a second. And God, it's so crazy because God revealed this to me just recently. And I'm like, it's so obvious. Like, how could, how did I not see? Like, you know those ones like where you like go in scripture and you see it. You read it a million times, but then you just get it. You know what I'm saying? And praise God. That's all the Holy Spirit. And I'm like, wow. Like, you know what I'm saying? And if we go um, to um, James 4 verse 13. Or 4 verse 4, I'm sorry. And it says, ye adulterers and adulteresses. Know ye not that friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore therefore will be a friend of the world is an enemy of God. So we know, and glory to the Holy Spirit, that being a friend of God, you know what I'm saying, and being, you know, in relationship with him is doing his will because it's like, in the Bible it says, who are my brothers, who are my mothers, who are my fathers, is those that do the will of God, those that seek me. But those that are the enemies of God are those that are in friendship with the world because of friendship of the world. Why would you be a friend of somebody that hates everything that your best friend hates and doesn't follow? I would even question that so-called friend that I would have if he was best friends and friends with someone that hates me and wants nothing to do with me. You know what I'm saying? Curses at me, blasph blasphemes my name all day curses me you know and all that stuff i would really question our friendship is it really pure a long time i'm struggling with worldliness and by the grace of god god is slowly and slowly and slowly just taking all that worldliness away and stems from the second music and that is such a stronghold in my life there's so many things that i used to watch that i would, I would really not pay mind i'll have a little conviction i would ignore it you know, I don't want to grieve the Holy Spirit to quench it. And, you know, praise God that the Spirit was the Spirit of God. The conviction was still there for me to eventually listen. Because many times I was just bypassing it, not listening, being stubborn with it. And just saying, Lord, like, I really want it. You know what I'm saying? I went from listening to watching, like, Menace to Society. Like, come on. Like, you say, you say, you watch the like, Menace to Society, Boys in the Hood. And even loving, loving basketball. In my last video, I was talking about it. You know, and... Just seeing, like, if you really love the Lord, like, why would you do things that hurts them? You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you do, if to those that are married or have, you know what I'm saying, or are engaged or or in just in a relationship, boyfriend, girlfriend, if you really love your partner, why would you do anything that would hurt them? Why would you do anything that would, that would, that would know if you keep doing it will break you apart with because that's all you want you want the intimacy you want a relationship why would you want to do anything to separate yourself from them so how much more with the lord and the holy spirit speaking to me too like i'm not trying to sit on here and sit on a pedestal like bro like the holy spirit speaking and i'm listening just with you know i'm listening taking notes in the future just like you know what i'm saying any more notes I, that i caught by the holy spirit so like praise god like you know what i'm saying like i'm not coming on here and like saying like yo like do this do that you know what i'm saying i'm still young and i'm still growing in the lord you know what i'm saying like i'm making this video because god wants a relationship with each and every last one of y'all watching you know what i'm saying whether you're saved or not saved for the those that are saved now god wants you to go further god wants you to go deeper god wants you as we go to revelations right here and I'm like, I say this a lot, you know what I'm saying? In Revelations 3, verse 14 onwards, it says, And unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans, right? These things saith the Amen, the faithful and true witnesses, the beginning of the creation of God. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would that thou were cold or hot. 
So then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. I will spit you out of my mouth. Because thou sayest I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing and knowest not that thou art wretched, miserable, miserable, and poor and blind and naked. And I want to stop there for a second. There's many people in the world, and Holy Spirit, read my tongue, that may believe and feel like they're truly rich and, you know, with the wealth that they have and they inquire. But they don't realize that that's not the, that's not the true wealth of life. That's not the truth, true wealth of life. You know, they don't realize, and thank you, Holy Spirit, that in verse 17, it says, because I'll say, I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing. And knoweth not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked without a true relationship with the Lord, without a true relationship with Jesus Christ. I counsel thee to buy of me, and verse 18 says, I counsel thee to buy of me gold, tried in fire, that thou mayest be rich and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thy eyes with eyes of, that thou mayest see, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Be, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I have overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith to the churches. And I just thank God so much. But just the word that he gave, you know, I thank the Holy Spirit. I'm just his servant. I'm I'm nobody. I'm nobody special. You know what I'm saying? And God loves each and every one of y'all. I can't stress it enough. And I pray that each and every one of y'all seek that relationship with the Lord. If you have a relationship with God in Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, praise God. But keep going. Keep going. Don't settle. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. If you are lukewarm, turn away from your lukewarmness. If you were in a relationship and you had that partner that was sort of like, mm, I love you, but I still, you know what I'm saying? I'm the girl in the past, that guy in the past. Wouldn't it not be righteous to say, all right, Either go back to your match, or go back to your girl, or follow and choose me. Like, like have a relationship with me truly. Forget it. I would rather you go back to the girl than be how you are right now. I would rather you fully love me than be how you are now. That's what the Lord is saying to us. He wants us to fully come in the name of Jesus and surrender our lives to Him. It's not that hard. It's not. I feel like I heard this said. By a, by a man of God. The, great, the greatest tragedy, the greatest thing, I, I, I can't know, give me the words, but just the hardest thing in hell is not necessarily the torment and the fire, but it was the fact that it was so easy. It was so simple to come to the Lord. It was so easy. I'm not one that says you say a prayer and you go into heaven regardless. You know what I'm saying? I truly believe personally. And the word says that you can walk out of your salvation. You can lose it. You can walk out of your salvation. If I'm unforgiveness and if I'm unforgiven and bitter with someone every day of my life, and God forbid, you know what I'm saying? Let's just say not me, but just a person was unforgiven and, and bitter, and they were to get in a car accident and die, would they be able to make it into the kingdom of God? If someone was an idolater, a fornicator, and on their way home, they were driving and maybe drive by, I don't know, whatever happened, something, brain aneurysm, whatever happened to that person, not any of us, I pray not. If they were to die, where would they go if they didn't repent of their sins and it's covered under the blood? So I say all this to say, like, praise God, like, don't grieve the Holy Spirit. And thank you, Holy Spirit, for speaking. You know, so I know this video is kind of getting long. If you got all the way to the end of this video, praise God. You know what I'm saying? And even if you are still watching, praise God. I want this to minister to people. You know, in Jesus' name, that God loves each and every one. That's one of y'all. <clears throat> Excuse me.
and he wants a relationship. He wants to know you. You'll, you'll be so surprised. There's no person. He's the greatest personality of the world that the world's ever seen. There's no better and greater personality than Jesus Christ. So, God, the Father, wants people to honor his son. When you honor him, you follow after him, you obey him, you keep his word, abide in him. Live in, I heard another brother say, I'm sorry. Yeah, living the Christian life is hard. But with Christ, it's not as hard as it would appear to be. With Christ, I can do all things. So as long as we stay with the Lord and we stay with him, he will strengthen us, he will help us. Those that truly live a godly life will, will get persecuted and will have a hard life. That's what the Bible says in Acts. So honestly, you know, I, the last thing I'm going to say is, you know, I recently saw this movie and it's called The Encounter. And in this movie, I'm briefly going to you know, say it was, it was just five different people, five, six, seven people, you know what I'm saying, that all get stuck on the road and find themselves in a diner because they're all looking for a place of safety because it was raining that day and all that stuff. So they find themselves in a diner and they see no one's in the diner, but the light's still on. So they're like, yo, like, what's going on? So then appears a man and on his name tag, it says Jesus. It's in, in just in ordinary clothing. I mean, like work attire for, you know what I'm saying, being in a diner. And being a waiter so they come and as the movie and as the story progresses in the movie jesus speaks to each and every last one of them and he talks about he's like it's like basically long story short is just like it shows the relationship that jesus wants with each of us so i encourage y'all to watch it you know what i'm saying you know i'll leave the link in the description box and even the videos that i talked about you know what i'm saying i'll leave the links to the guy's channel, you know, in the description box as well. But I just want to thank y'all so much for just, you know what I'm saying? Just watching and listening and uh, praise God, man. You know, but I just really want to end off in prayer. So Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you for the word that you've spoken. But I pray, Lord Jesus Christ, that God, in your will, Lord Jesus, in your name, that Lord, this video will get up to, uploaded and Lord, it'll, it'll touch the hearts of those that it needs to touch, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, and I pray in the mighty name of Jesus for every single last one of those that watch maybe even two seconds of it, two minutes, 10, however long, or the whole video, Lord God. Maybe they just passed by on it. I pray for their soul, and I pray, Lord Jesus Christ, that you touch them in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for their lives, Lord God. I pray you soften their hearts, that the seeds be planted. I pray that you help us as believers to turn away from the world and live for you and those that are not saved to make that cho choice and choose you this day whom we shall serve thank you lord god for each soul that's watching i plead the blood of jesus from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet in jesus name i pray amen amen praise god but continue to walk in holiness and continue to live right and <laughs> see y'all next time glory to god